if I prioritize my relationship with the father, and that is the most important thing in my life, then everything will flow out of that relationship, including everything I need in terms of not just finances, which isn't the, not really the primary thing here, because he doesn't talk about money, does it? It talks about the ability to be able to live with food and clothes and somewhere to live. And in a sense, God knows that we have needs and those needs will be outworked in our relationship with him. Now, do I believe in sowing and reaping? Yes, I believe it's a principle that is within creation, but it was only ever designed for fruitfulness, an increase and a multiplication. So they were told to tend and cultivate the garden now, if the garden had fruit trees that produced fruit, some of that fruit was for them to eat. Some of that would be for the seeds to replant. So there would be a multiplication and more trees because there was going to be a lot more people on the earth. And the garden needed to fill the whole earth and not just be in one place, which wouldn't probably be enough for everyone who was going to be born in the future. So there's context to a lot of these things. Sowing and reaping from a... Um, of sort of prosperity teachers is all about you getting more and you having more so you need to sow into my ministry because my ministry is good ground so you will get a harvest and actually i think a lot of that is really about them getting your money and a lot of people end up disappointed and frustration frustrated because they don't get the hundredfold return you know don't even get a 30-fold return um because they really have been sowing with the wrong motive and they've been sowing under obligation and compulsion Ultimately, God loves a cheerful giver. And I don't believe we can outgive God, but our motive shouldn't be to try and outgive God. So we'll get more. We only need that which enables us to fulfill and bless others. So my thing in sowing and reaping, the context of sowing and reaping is, again, the fulfillment of being fruitful and multiplying and increasing to expand the kingdom, not to expand what we've got. And if our motive is to get more, to give more, then that's fine, providing that God wants you to give more. Don't assume, only do what he's showing you to do. Then you're going to be sure that he will provide for you to do that. And that will increase and you will be able to give in the future everything you need to do in alignment with what God's purpose is. So a lot of the teaching around this has become man focused and provision focused and particularly prosperity focused. And prosperity actually is not about money. It's about having the ability to succeed in all that you're called to do. So to be blessed, go back to Genesis 1 and God's kingdom mandate for sonship. Be fruitful, multiply, increase, subdue and rule. The being fruitful and multiplying was the fulfillment of their identity as sons. That is what they were called to do. It wasn't to outwork everything that they necessarily thought they ought to do, but only outworking that which was being blessed to do. So God blessed them. That blessing is the power or the ability to succeed and prosper in the fulfillment of everything God has assigned to us in our lives. That's all we actually need is to fulfill and prosper in that so the prosperity is to be fruitful not to have loads and loads of cars houses and all of those things we only need that which we need so i would encourage you just to continue pursuing relationship and then let it all flow out of the relationship because i think that's the key to seeking the kingdom is just enjoying relationship and the kingdom of course is also described as being within us so this is not an external thing as much as an internal relationship which then manifests in us being blessed in the fulfillment of our destiny if you enjoy these videos would you please take a moment to like comment and subscribe it really does help thank you very much